Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, and I am back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide, and this is a goddamn fantastic one, as we are getting it all in Destroy All Humans. Yes, the remake Destroy All Humans, developed by Black Forest Games, published by the brilliant THQ Nordic, and is available right now for £34.99 in the UK, or $39.99 dollar dues in the US of A. Now a lot of us of course will remember Crypto and his adventures in many games, but for those that are not too familiar, allow me to quickly explain, even though the sort of main name of the name is in the game. Ah, then I a poet and I did know it. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> we play as Crypto and with help from our pal Pox, we have one aim, destroy all humans, obviously. Even though it is just set in America, so we're gonna need a lot more games to destroy all of the humans. <laughs> But we do have up to four weapons to choose from, including an anal probe, which is always hilarious. Source of flying, destroying building, it's all mega fun with some class humour in there to boot. Now achievements wise, they're not overly difficult, there's a lot of uh, easy miscellaneous ones, plenty of story related ones, but keep an eye out for and make sure to do all of the optional mission objectives in all of the game's 23 missions. They are easy enough, but of course I'll always be there to explain for you buttes. Plus of course we will be three-starring all of the challenges, but we will get them at the end of the game. Now you should get the full 1000 or platinum in around 10 to 15 hours. And so with that being said then, let us begin. So click new game, have a look at the cutscene if you want. In terms of cutscenes throughout the game, I'm actually going to be skipping them, but again, I advise you to watch them because they are just absolutely brilliant. And yes, if anyone does sort of wonder where the um where crypto's voice comes from yes it's the same guy who does play invader zim so we'll just get that straight out of the way and we're getting an achievement straight away so this is the main hub the sort of main area that you'll c come back to every time you finish a mission so if we just go to the very right hand side click on furonigami and obviously that'll be a bit full later on but that is where we get our first achievement so, as I said, every time you come back to this, uh, at, every time after a mission, you will come back to the mothership. Here you can um, have a look at your upgrades, you can have a look at sort of any uh, missions or anything that you may have missed. Um, so, again, feel free to just have a look about, get yourself familiar with it, because, of course, as I said, we'll be coming back here quite a lot. Otherwise, just uh, click the left bumper and we can start our first mission. So, obviously, this will just be like a tutorial um, for those that haven't played any Destroy All Humans games before. Honestly, they're just so good. They are absolutely fantastic. And it does bring back childhood memories, this. Good childhood memories, not the ones where, you know, I got thrown into a window and stuff. <laughs> that never actually happened. I, I had a decent childhood. So, moving on anyway. Um, again, I've cut down the sort of loading times as well. It normally takes a minute to sort of load up every mission, but being the generous guy that I am, I've just skipped it all entirely. So, here we go then. We've got our second achievement of the game, and that's just for coming up to Turnip Seed Farm which is just brilliantly American. So again, it's obviously just going to tell you all the little sort of basics, what we're going to do, how to sort of move around and things like that. So the Cortex scan will be using a lot through the game. So all you've got to do is just press the Y button. And then obviously it says what it does on the tin, really. It um, reads minds. There's only cows we can read at the minute. So go ahead, just um, smash out all of the cows. And of course, you see the mission objective on the left-hand side there. The main mission objective is yellow, and when you get the um, optional side objective, that'll be um, not yellow. I forget the colour. I'm slightly colourblind, so I think it's like blue or light blue or something, but I'll obviously tell you anyway, because I love you guys. Yeah, I love you guys. Like right now, so there we go. At the bottom then, it says we need to drown a cow. So pick up a cow with RB. And you see where it's red? Yeah, it, it, it works. So that's all you got to do. So pick him up once with RB. When it's red in the air, just let go and that'll fling it. I For some reason, I kept trying to... Uh, I don't even know what I was doing. I kept I kept um, pressing the right bumper all the time. But all you got to do is just press it once to pick him up and then release RB. That will fling that little son of a biatch away. And that should be your first side objective done then, for just drowning a cow. 
Nice and cheesy. And he's a good looking shit, isn't he? he looks like me. Um, but no. What we're going to be doing then, um, with the farmer, is just pick him up with psychokinesis, pressing the uh, right bumper, of course, and then throw him. I did actually try to get another achievement here, where you sort of throw him up in the air and catch him, throw him up in the air and catch him, but I messed that one up. Come behind and then just mash the X button. Just keep mashing the X button, and basically what that'll do is give you his brain, um, his DNA. That will actually enable us to upgrade. So, highly advise throughout the game, whenever you kill an enemy or anything, you can just mash the X button when they're dead, or even when they're alive, mash the X button, and that'll actually um, give us their DNA, which again, that will help us get some upgrades later. So, I don't do it a lot through the game, because quite honestly, I kept forgetting, but I highly advise, every time you kill an enemy, or again, even if you don't, just keep mashing the X button near them when they're all sort of locked on, and when you've aimed at them, and that will give us some DNA for some beautiful upgrades. Because to complete the challenges a bit later on, we will need um, basically most of the upgrades. So for now, we're learning how to use our weapons. So again, it's just the right trigger button to use it. And the left trigger to uh, lock onto a target as well. So it's all basic, easy stuff. But of course, it is just, you know, with it being a different game, it's just something that you've got to get used to. And... You can just tell all these farmers bang all their chickens, can't you? Incest chickens and stuff. Hey, Tesco sell them. I still eat them, so as long as it still tastes good, I don't care what these farmers do to these chickens. So, <laughs> there you go. With the Zappomatic, then, of course, we'll be upgrading all the weapons later on so they'll be more powerful. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, as I said, this is just a nice little tutorial mission. It's, it's fun. It's always enjoyable. So, as you can see there, the next mission objective, we need to kill the farmer's wife with a chicken. So, grab a chicken, again, using the RB button, you, um, pressing it once, so you keep the chicken floating in the air. And what I would do then is actually just zap the farmer's wife just once or twice, just to get her health down a bit, and then throw the chicken at her. Because it actually takes, for some reason, it takes her... It takes it twice to um, kill her. I, um... I accidentally smashed the chicken away, so that's why I'm actually going back, just to grab me another chicken. Because for some reason, I couldn't get into my head that you've only got to press the right bumper button once, and that's it. So again, just ignore all the police and stuff shooting at you for now, they're not going to hurt you too much. You're a little grey legend after all, you can't die. Only accept quite a lot through the game, so find the farmer's wife, she's the only one there, lock onto her, bam, jobs are good and she's dead. So now you can just crack on. Either psychokinesis them out of here. Again, for some reason, I kept ma I kept mashing the right bumper button. Very stupid, really, but there we go. And there we go. So it's, e you know, either way. As long as they're dead, happy days. Destroy all Americans, this game should be called, actually. So, now we're up into the saucer. Obviously, we've only got one weapon at the minute. Again, use the right trigger. You, you know, left stick to move. Easy, obvious stuff, but use the right trigger to use the death ray. Uh, it does take a while to destroy buildings, especially later on in the game. But we'll obviously have big boy, big ball, big boner, big cock weapons later on. So, for now, just just enjoy, just enjoy doing this. But now we're going to get the military up our anus. And no, that is not a metaphor. We're going to have, they're going to try and anal probe us. Anal probe an alien. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, hon. I anal probe you. I, I mean, if I was speaking as crypto there. Crypto, I... So then, for the majority of the game, you'll see any main target that you'll need to complete or destroy will always have this sort of orange-yellow beam coming out of it. So just be careful here. Dodge best you can. Again, use the right trigger to smash out the death ray. Um, using the left trigger, that'll sort of aim it a little better, but quite honestly, I, I didn't need it too much to work the game, so... But it is there, obviously, if you need it anyway. Um, obviously, you've got your shield health counter at the top. If that goes all the way down, you only get about one or two more hits after that, and then you'll basically die. So, again, just be careful. Um, to get your health back up, 
you just got to drain. Drain a vehicle by um, picking it up. We will a little bit later on with the right bumper. Same button as the psychokinesis. And then just drain it using the Y button. That will get your health back up. But you can only do that for sort of mainly vehicles anyway. But um, yeah, so... At the minute, I'm flying about like an absolute numpty, but there are two more soldiers to destroy. So, go ahead, destroy them. Well, I say a soldier, it's a tank. And then, again, just be careful because a few more are going to come. So, go ahead and just... Just... Kill them. You know, that is the main aim of the game, after all. So, go ahead and smash them. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I... So, the two guys you just seen there then are Majestic Agents. They are going to be a very powerful enemy throughout the game that we've got to try and destroy. We'll obviously come to that in just a little bit later on with the later missions. So at the end of every mission that you succeed, you'll obviously have your... Um, if you've done your optional side quest. Again, like I said earlier, the majority are very easy. There may be... A couple that you can either skip for now or you can come back to it a bit later on. But the best thing is you can do just one optional side objective and that will be completely completed. So when you go back to that mission, you don't have to do that again. So now we're going to be getting a few achievements. So go ahead and clip, uh, click on crypto right there. We've got a little bit of DNA. It should be in the left hand corner. Um, my Welsh Hunter logo though is <laughs> covering that. So... My bad, but you can you can upgrade what you want. But for now, we are going to focus mainly on crypto, as there are a few guns that we're going to need to um, basically make our lives and the game a lot easier when it comes to fighting bosses and things a little bit later on. Um, but for now, all we can do is upgrade the Zapomatic. So it's it's either usually extra damage or it's extra sort of ammo so there we go so go ahead and do that um, the next thing we're going to go to then is the skin selection so if you click right on archives go down to skin selection uh, click absolutely any <laughs> costume you want there are plenty to get there are plenty to obtain and unlock through the game so we're going to go with um, uh, it the clown uh, <laughs> costume for now and then go back to archives go on to your holopox deck and then just simply uh, click to replay mission one uh, that will obviously just get us the next achievement which is return of the clone 2 reloaded again if you wanted to go through the mission just to get used to it a little bit more obviously that's completely up to you um, if you wanted to try and get a few more achievements with the farmer or anything again that's absolutely fine as well but all we're doing is just getting this achievement and then we'll be quitting right back out and then continuing with mission two so a lot of these miscellaneous achievements we're gonna sort of get out of the way early um, you can sort of potentially get them just through playing the game anyway but I find we'll just get them out of the way early and then we can just smash on with the missions because man I'm, I just I, you know me you know me I just like to help you guys so go ahead screw this now Quit out and we'll continue with mission two, which is Earth Women Are Delicious. And boy, you ain't wrong. That title ain't wrong. It Well, it it, it depends, really. Um, depends on if you're a cannibal or not as well. Uh, I, I didn't mean cannibalistic delicious, but there we go. So here then we're going to be getting the Rockwell Death Knell achievement, which is just for um, getting into Rockwell for the first time. 
But this is the first mission where we're going to find out really about the alert levels. And it's basically, you know, if you've played your sort of open world sandbox games, Grand Theft Autos and stuff like that, obviously the higher the meter goes, basically, the the deadlier force that are going to come. So, you know, one once the first box is full, that'll be the police, then the second will be a few agents, and then the third will be the military, etc. So... I didn't really pay attention too much to the alert levels. I just killed whatever was in front of me, to be quite fair. Uh, <laughs> but we are... Be we now, we're not supposed to alert the police, but we are going to get another achievement, which is the Fly My Pretties achievement. So go ahead, get this guy, throw him up in the air, and then make sure to catch him. So throw him up in the air, and then make sure to catch him with the RB button again. And then that achievement then should finally unlock. So it's quite easy. Um... I actually did mess this one up, <laughs> so we will actually be restarting the level right now. So basically, we're not supposed to be caught by anyone or the police. They're not supposed to be alerted. Um, I didn't actually mean to get that achievement there, to be honest. I actually meant to catch him again, but I accidentally flung him to his uh, death, which, well, was a big gut in for him, but there we go. So let us start again, and let's go a bit, a little bit sneakier this time. Even though, again, we've got death rays and stuff. We could literally just wipe them all out. But hey, it wouldn't be much of a game otherwise, would it? <laughs> so this is where we learn about a few more things. You can make people forget that they've seen you by pressing down on the D-pad. Um, again, I barely use it through the game, to be honest. But we'll come to that in just a bit. And then to actually use the hollow blob, so you can actually get into their body, just press up on the D-pad. Again, it's very important that the person doesn't see you. So if you're sort of, even if you're halfway through doing a hollow blob and somebody else sees you, that will actually get cancelled and you're going to have police on your ass. Or in your ass, it depends on what kind of alien you want this guy to be. Um, but for now, we are good to go. And also, we're going to, we are going to need to keep continuing to scan people's minds. So basically, it's sort of a timed thing. So after about 30 seconds or so, the hollow blob starts to run out. And the only way that we can continue up our charade is by scanning minds. So again, make sure to always press the Y button, scan people's minds, and you should be absolutely fine. So this is all we're doing. So for now then, all we've got to do is just scan a couple of people. Um, nothing too hard. Again, this is... This basically acts as another sort of tutorial level as we just start to progress and get used to all the things. This human seems to be on to something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. You got nothing on me. Come on, boys. My biological clock is ticking like a time bomb. Work with me here, people. What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that, that Ike seems like the guy I'd want to have over for a boss. Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time. I'm Wayne! Finally, I was lit my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No. Ob so now we have the first optional objective coming up, and that is to escort Miss Rockwell posing as the mayor. So uh, press the X button here, match the X button. Then quickly run behind you, go behind the sort of pedestal right here where the mayor is speaking, and then use the hollow blob. Make sure nobody sees you, of course, and we should be good to go. And this is just another fat, dirty, greasy looking scuzzball of a douchebag who just wants to smash his way to the very top, even though he's probably got a wiener the size of a cocktail sausage. I don't know why all mayors do. All mayors do. You never, you barely see a good looking mayor with a big giant veiny knob. Um, anyway, moving on. So, where we <laughs> where are we going to be going then? Again, just keep scanning mine so obviously the hollow blob doesn't run out. But we're just going back to our spaceship at the very start. 
So just, you know, enjoy the, um, enjoy the beautiful accent and the hilarious dialogue. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger and rounder and saucer shaped. Whoa, this is just like my dream. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on the way! Ooh, fair play, she's got a face of puppy wooden lick, hasn't she? <laughs> Bless her. But top design there from everyone at Black Forest Games. So anyway, pressing the RB button when you're in the source set picks something up, exactly like uh, Crypto's Psychokinesis. And then, so you pick it up once with the RB button, and then just let go to fling it. That's it, you don't need to keep, again, spamming the right bumper button. Um, and again, so have a look at the optional side objective there. We need to just fling a couple of cars into the buildings, make sure the buildings are destroyed. It's easy enough. Again, if you're having trouble picking things up or anything like that, use the left trigger button. That'll sort of lock on and aim um, if, it, if you find it a bit easier. Um, and again, also, every time you pick up a vehicle, keep spamming the Y button, and that will also get us another achievement, but it will up, it'll obviously uh, help the shield. Get, get our health back. That's what I'm trying to say. So anytime you're running a bit low on health, remember to pick up a vehicle, spam the wave button, that gets our health back. That's exactly what I was going to say. Otherwise, just keep spamming everything. You don't actually have to keep throwing things into buildings. Now, you can just use the death rate to finish, it, finish them off if you want. But just make sure to uh, <laughs> literally destroy everything. Because what a bad game that would be if we didn't, if we couldn't destroy everything, huh? Oh, for the love of God, bloody finicky things. All you have to do is destroy the top seat. Right, okay. Spanks a bunch. But anyway, that is mission two finished and done. And of course, if you've done the two mission on side objectives, you'll see a nice 100%. But again, I remind you that if you only do one of the two, remember that that one will always stay completed. So you can just go back, do the other one, and jobs are good, honey. So that's good, but now what we're going to do is get up to um, our 17th achievement. So we're going to do quite a few of the miscellaneous, the easy miscellaneous achievements, but we are just going to sort of get them out the way so they are done before we can move on. Again, if you want to upgrade Crypto or the Saucer, more than welcome to take a look. Um, these sort of brain extracts and psychokinesis, I don't use, I don't, I, ha I didn't upgrade it at all in the story. Um, it was only for the challenges a bit later on, which I show you in video number three. But, you know, again, like I said, of course, you can upgrade absolutely anything you want. But the guns, it, it's better to just, to just upgrade mainly crypto, to be honest. Again, that's going to help us with the bosses and with the uh, game a little bit later on. So what we're actually going to be going back to right now is Turnip Seed Farm. So you can have a little blast through. Obviously, there's only two locations unlocked. Well, there's only one location unlocked really at the minute. But we are going to be going back to Turnip Seed Farm to get these miscellaneous achievements. Again, there are challenges that unlock throughout the game as you play and unlock uh, mission stories. But we were, we're not going to be touching a challenge until uh, video three a little bit later on. Have a look then, so to your right there, you've just seen we collected our first Furon probe. Uh, basically, the more you collect, the more DNA you get, which again helps us for upgrades. 
what we need to do also is destroy a human with an explosive barrel, but they only work on enemies. So, um, just random citizens will not work. So we're going to need to kill a few guys, kill a few farmers first, and then what we're going to do is grab another explosive barrel and make sure to kill two humans with one explosive barrel. That is the first achievement we're going for. That's a rock. I thought it was a hay bale for some reason, so I got really blind. So again, just sort of, you know, get enough, kill enough people to sort of get the police involved, um, get quite a, a few enemies together. So that's what I'm sort of running about for at the minute. I'm just sort of having a look for explosive barrels. So take a look. Make sure t a couple are close together. And then as soon as you get them close, just throw them at them. And usually an explosive barrel would goddamn explode. But for some reason it bounced absolutely... P <laughs> it bounced past them. Oh, for the love of Jeebus and all that. That is goddamn holy. Um... I'm not a very holy person, as you can probably tell, and the stuff I talk about in my videos. So anyway, once again, have a little fly about. There are, there's another explosive barrel just outside the farmhouse. There is also one just down here as well. So pick that up. And again, make sure two enemies are close together. And there we go. Just throw it, throw him at them. Again... If you prefer, you can use the left trigger to sort of lock onto a target if he's close enough to another guy. But very quickly, pick one guy up with the uh, right bubba, psychokinesis, and then shoot another guy with the right trigger button, and that will get us the no time to waste achievement. And very quickly, we're going to be doing another one. So what you'll have to do is, again, use psychokinesis, the right bumper, um, pick pick one guy up and then just throw him into another guy and then that should unlock the next achievement which is when two humans collide so you just pick up a guy with psychokinesis throw him into another one and that is good and then what we'll also be doing is getting the brain drain achievement and that is for simply so kill a guy right here any guy any guy of your choice completely absolutely <laughs> anyone and then just again mash the X button when the guy is dead so we can, uh, well, drain his brain obviously. And that'll sort of re regenerate our shield there. So this is where I get it. So take a look and um, press the X button, mash it very quickly. Gets us some health back. So again, that you will get probably store uh, through story related anyway. You can't really mess that one up. And we're going to get another achievement now, so make sure to set a hay bale on fire. Make sure to at least set the guy's health um, about halfway down, because it just won't work otherwise. So set this hay bale on fire right here. Make sure the enemy's uh, health is halfway down, and then throw it at him. That will actually kill him off. And then that <laughs> should get us the pyrokinesis achievements so yeah so that's the finally the last of the miscellaneous ones that we're going to be going for for now um again i do apologize if that was sort of explained quite fast hopefully you would have got it and it's they are easy enough to get anyway but again apologies if that was quite um quickly explained there and you sort of had to pause the video a few times to get it but hopefully you would have got the same ones that i did so after that beautiful bit of fun there we had, now we can move on with Mission 3, Citizen Crypto. So go ahead, click on that, and let's enjoy, shall we? And I can catch my breath. Crypto! Those nearby bovoids appear to have been genetically manipulated by the humans. So for whatever reason then, you see these green cows, well, they are extremely explosive. And you wouldn't want them at supermarkets, you'd rather horse meat in supermarkets, wouldn't you? Let's so go ahead, pick one up with psychokinesis, and then just throw one at a scientist. Uh, the first group of guys there should usually be uh, fine enough. And... Our main, get, uh, main aim right here is to just kill the scientists, so you can ignore the guys shooting at you for now, just go ahead. The ones with the yellow beams sticking out of their heads, not like an alien or anything. There, was no, there wasn't any need for me to do that, to be honest, but you, can, you can't always beat a, a good explosion, can you? 
So yeah, just be very careful because of course your shield is quite uh, minimal at the moment. Um, so ignore all the guys with guns if you can. And just kill all these scientists in the grey coats. Orson Welles was right! <laughs> it's like basic... <laughs> So this is another thing that'll happen a lot through the game, restricted areas. So there'll be like obviously army bases, police barricades, etc. So really you've got to um, hollow blob the correct disguise to be able to enter these sort of restricted areas. So straight away, have a look at the couple of people on the left. Make sure to not get too close. Uh, sort of inch your way in until you can hollow blob a guy. And then immediately go to the right uh, where all the cows are. And there should be a police officer sort of roaming the fields. There he is. So, again, make sure to get just behind him or to the side of him so he can't see you. Hollow blob him and you should be good. If you do get caught, you will fail the mission. Um, but not the optional side mission, so don't worry about that. Um, don't hollow blob those soldiers right there. There's going to be one. You can scan them again if you want, um, just so you know you don't. Your hollow blob doesn't get cancelled and we get caught. But there should be a lone soldier right around here, right to the left of us. And there he is, he's just patrolling. So go ahead and hollow blob him. Again, if he's looking at you, it doesn't matter. It's as it's if anyone else is watching you, that's where it matters. Now this is a, another bit. We're, we're supposed to not get caught, but I get caught right here. Um, and you'll see exactly why. So what we're supposed to do is the mayor, as you can see, the target on your minimap um, is just there. So we've got to distract everyone usually and then holler blob the mayor. But I end up getting caught, which we're not supposed to do. But what it does is actually put us on the roof, which just makes this bit a crap ton easier, to be honest. So it's why I've actually left it in there. So it, it's probably worth failing this bit. And then it just shoves us back on the roof, making this bit, like I said, a whole crap ton easier. So, we're literally on the roof, right next to the um, mayor. So what we're going to be doing now is using the distract button, which is the... Mayor! So now we can use the distract button. Pox is going to let us know how to do that. So just press left on the D-pad. It'll take a while for it to happen, but what that'll do is obviously, again, it, the, the name... It's in the name, really. It's going to distract everyone around. And what we can do, just jump down as soon as everyone's distracted. And then press up on the D-pad to holler blob the mayor. And nobody will be none the wiser. And that is some top dancing. So, go around the front of the building. Before we go to the pedestal, make sure to press Y on the humans at the front. Uh, only three that we need. Just scan a couple of humans. And then we are actually good to go. And now what we're going to do then, just to end this mission, is answer a few questions as Cocktail Sausage Wiener Mayor. I don't actually know his name. So I'm sticking with Cocktail Sausage Wiener. So then, as you see, you've got a little sort of bar in the left-hand corner. The more you get wrong, um, basically you end up failing the mission. So just copy the exact same dialogue options I do here, and you're not going to have an issue. I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to see the land our foot. So, uh, the next time you see a strange light moving and changing direction. Read my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrator. Because we're real Americans and they're not. Next.
So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. So there we are then, mission 3 already completed and we're going to be getting achievement number 18 already as well. And that is just for getting an upgrade for our saucer. So obviously go ahead, click saucer. It'll only be the death rate or I think the shield potentially as well. Yeah, so pick either one and this is where we get the achievement. Again, this is basically unmissable as you'll have to upgrade your saucer. Uh, for the game later on and again for the challenges so pick whatever you'd like here and then we can just move on to mission four the alien pool party Again, just remember the the loading screen for you and everything is going to take about a minute to a minute and a half. I've obviously just cut them down for time, but we are going to be getting achievement number 19 right here, and that is for simply entering Santa Modesta. And it's a nice little place, isn't it? Imagine living close to a beach. It must be bloody nice. It must be real delicious. But uh, there we go. So we got the achievement anyway. Uh, the only, to be honest, the, the closest thing to a beach to me is a drug-addled Barry Island, and it's, um, well, well, it's completely full of syringes, and uh, it's not all bad, but it's not exactly American beaches. I've never been to America, so tell me what American beaches are like. So, be very, very careful here, and make sure to hollow blob yourself, there will always be a guy sort of randomly walking around there. Uh, might not be the same guy, but it'll be close. Again, if you want to pick up those um, Furon probes, there was one to the left, which I just missed. But um, again, you don't have to collect them all. But again, if you want to get the upgrades quicker, then you can collect them as you see them. So what we're doing then, following the signs of the pool party for now, just um, keep scanning people. Uh, there'll always be loads of signs, as you can see there on the right pool party, but... Scan everyone and just head in the same direction I do for the time being. I'm going to look, as a farmer, I'm going to look so out of place at a pool party, but hey, it's, it's beer and it's probably drugs as well. So you can't complain. And farmers love that shit. I'll shoot them aliens something fierce if they get near my sheep, Dolly. There seems to be a human social ritual in progress. Perhaps you can discover what's going on by scanning them. Here we go then with the majestic agent. So basically on the mini-map you will see a sort of, uh, just like a circle. A, a small dot and a circle around him. If you enter that sort of big circle, basically um, the hollow blob, he can detect you. The hollow blob will start to um, go away a lot quicker. And yeah, so they basically they can just detect you a lot quicker. So every time you see um, a red sort of dot on your minimap with a circle around him, just try and stay out of that circle, which will always be handy. So just scan a couple of party goers for now, and then our first mi uh, side optional objective will be coming up. And all we've got to do is, there we go, so we've got to just drown the party goers. So you can easily do that by picking them up with your pyrokinesis, uh, psychokinesis even, <laughs> and just throwing them straight in the pool. Some will have guns, so of course be careful, just um, use A of course to jetpack, you should know how to jetpack around by now, but you know, just in case, uh, fly around so you don't get shot. 
If you end up picking up a whole load of random stuff, try again and use the left trigger to sort of lock onto them. It'll be a little bit easier. Otherwise, yeah, just keep on going. Make sure to drown everyone you see until you uh, get the optional side objective. So there we go. I've already done that. So now you can just go ahead and blast your way. Now, the party goers are the ones, again, with the beams of light coming out of their head. Which, for some reason, I was missing and forgetting. So I will <laughs> be sort of flying around looking for the last one for 30 seconds. He's cowering like a bloody fanny. It's just an alien, dude. Come on. Stop right there, pal. Space invaders. Crypto. Unfortunately, you seem to have awakened the local constabulary. So yeah, could have definitely done that bit a little bit quicker, but for some reason I was focusing all my attention on police officers. But before we go ahead and kill the police officers, make sure to destroy uh, five police cars. We've got our disintegrator ray, which is just one of my favourite guns. Love this gun. So you've got the two in the parking lot right there, the third one at the entrance of the parking lot, and then two more will come by. So again, just before you kill all the police officers, make sure to destroy the police cars. There's another one. So yeah, plenty should turn up, to be honest. And we're going to be getting another achievement as well, because we're going to need a little bit more ammo. And the way to do that is go up to sort of any sort of bins, any objects, any items, you know, any small items, and just mash the X button like you would if you were getting rid of someone's brain, uh, transmogging someone's brain, like we've already done. Like, well, like that, but <laughs> on an item. <laughs> so, there we go. So, I'll do it on a bin, I think, right around here. So, yeah, any sort of objects, small objects, as long as they're not in vehicles or anything big. Just mash the X button, and we're going to get some ammo now for our disintegrated ray. Then we'll get the achievement, the reduce, abuse, recycle achievement. And if you've done the side objective, which is destroying five police cars, go ahead and disintegrate them asses. Man, what am I on about? <laughs> Just kill him. Just kill him. Please step away from the flaming policeman. Thank you for your... It's always worth checking to see how much DNA you've got to see if you can upgrade. I'll go through in just a little bit the guns which we are going to be getting the full upgrades before we get to the bosses a little bit later on. I'll explain that in a minute, but you know, at the minute, the choices are really yours. So you go mad, or if you just want to save them up for now, because of course these missions are relatively easy. By all means, do that. But we are now on to mission five. Televisions of Doom. Uh, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as televisions of Doom. All television is nice. And believable, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't look so tough. 
Looks can deceive. These urban humans are savvy. Straight away then we've got our first optional side objective and that is to kill the car or destroy the car with two, well, with an explosive shot and basically we need two gas canisters so just follow it for now. Use the dash button, you press the B button to dash. Uh, that gives you, well, like it says in the tin, just a little bit of a dash. And then as the car turns right there's going to be the first gas canister on the right hand side here, sort of next to a barbecue. Try not to pick up the barbecue. So. Give yourself a fly, make sure to press the left trigger to uh, lock onto the car, because that, that will just make it completely easier. So press, there we go, so press the left trigger and then straight away from there, there's another gas canister to the left, which is next to this sort of truck right here. And again, just fly over and then again, press the left trigger to lock on and then um, let go of the right bumper, that will destroy the car, get us our side optional objective done. And then we'll just kill both Majestic Agents. These are nice and easy. They're just jerks. <laughs> See? Happy days. Nice and easy. Grab the suitcase and then we'll be doing a little flying to our next objective. So yeah, it's always worth what I do throughout the game, really. If, if it gets a little bit overwhelming or you're needing to get a bit of health, just fly onto a rooftop. Literally. Nobody else can fly, they can all sugma, and it's just the best way, easy to do. Um, also, now you can. I tried to hollow blob my way there, but honestly, it's probably easier to literally just fly there, which I found out later on, but, you know, we try not to draw attention to ourselves. Seeing a little grey Morbo from Futurama. Okay, looks nothing like Fu Morbo from Futurama, but... You know, seeing a little alien, you're going to draw attention to yourself, really, aren't you? So there we go. So at the minute then, we, we are going into this facility. Again, what you can do is just fly onto the roof and go to your, uh, go to the location. But you can either just hollow blob your way there, walk there, and we'll be getting to the next cutscene anyway. So then, here we are. This guy is Sleepy Ernst. Hello, Sleepy Ernst. He's asleep. Even when he destroys his car, he's not going to hear a thing, which is always nice. Grab this fewer on Pro for a little bit of DNA. So what Pox is basically going to say is destroy his car, so go ahead and do it. Use either the Zapomatic or you can use the Disintegrator Ray. Now be very, very careful. When you pick up Sleepy Ernst, make sure to actually th don't throw him in like I just did because it won't actually work. My advice would be to just hover above the water and then just drop him in because for some reason it didn't count even though it said that it just did. So yeah with Sleepy Urns then just hover him above the water and then drop him in and then that should work. But again it's not a very hard mission even if for some reason it does fail so but obviously I'm just giving you a word of warning because at the end of this you are going to see it be 93% which should be really a nice 100%. It's a pain in the ass, really, but there we go. So grab that Furon probe like I just did again, if you want. And then what we're doing is just heading to the location. There's going to be police and everything arriving, but again, they can ligma because there's no point. <laughs> what are you going to do, bruh? You ain't going to do nothing. So yeah, there's only one target to reach, and there it is. Orange beam in the sky. This is another very easy bit. All we've got to do is go to said orange beams right here. They're just basically television antennas. But to get the side objective complete, all we've got to do is not touch the ground. So just follow the exact same path I do. And really, you shouldn't have a problem. This is very easy, this one. So just enjoy yourselves. What the? What? 
How can I love Lucy when she's off the air? Ears. How Don't will give I up, know if the exact value of an all expenses, expenses per really Cuban vacation is lower or he higher than ninety three forty nine? Unsympathetic. You have the right to get your ass kicked. Going Hold it right there. there. You're almost done, Crypto. Oh, I'm in awe of your sheer cerebral virility. You silver stud, you! You're dropping! Don't I watch the news in peace? I hardly ever get to use my masters in economics. Here we go. There we go then. That is why I gave you that little bit of advice about sleepy urns because for some reason it didn't count even though it did the tick to say that it did count but there we go. So as long as you've got the, again, you know, even if you get the same as me there, it's so easy to go back into it. The other two objectives will still be complete anyway. So that's all we've got to do is uh, drown sleepy urns again and complete the mission. Very, very easy anyway, but hopefully you guys and gals would have had a nice, lovely little 100%. So, here we are, back at the upgrade section. Again, if there's anything that you really want to upgrade. So basically, the guns that we are wanting to fully upgrade is the uh, Disintegrator Ray. That is the main that is the main one, the Disintegrator Ray. That is the one that we want to fully upgrade before we get to the final boss, at least. Uh, the Ion Detonator, which we don't get yet. Obviously, the Zapomatic as well. Um, fully upgrade your shield as well. That is a must. And for the Sorcerer, the main one really is the Repulsotron, which we don't have yet, which again, I'll explain when we get to it. Otherwise, for now, we're on to Mission 6, Aliens Storm Our Brains, damn. I know I'm so good at accents, right? I want you to collect any brain stems that may have survived the signal broadcast intact. So, there's not really a lot to do on this mission. All we're doing is basically going from um, beam to beam, collecting these big old brain things, but there's going to be a lot of gunfire coming our way, so it's one of those where you're going to have to be quite defensive and sort of run away a bit if your shield gets down a bit. But the only optional objective here is to use the anal probe on people, so lock onto a target, of course, with left trigger, press the right trigger once, and then that will anal probe everyone. <laughs> and we get their brain stems uh, automatically, but it's such a funny way to die, isn't it? It's... It's hilarious. This was my favorite part of the game. <laughs> anal probe. Well done. Well done, Crypto. Top anal probing, kid. But yeah, just stay around here. Get your anal probe. Um, get your anal probe uh, optional side objective done first. And then we can just move on. There's not really a lot to say about this mission. Like I said, just, you know, if you, if you feel yourself getting overwhelmed, just fly to a high rooftop where they can't touch you. Get your shield back a bit and then go for it again. Really not too bad though. <laughs> but the anal probe. Ooh, boy, that kills me. I'm flashing back. Come out with your hands up! Avoid 
there is something to say about this mission. EMP mines, those right there, they, if they shoot you, it'll disable your weapons and it'll disable your hollow blob uh, very temporarily. So, of course, best thing to do is destroy them or sort of just run away. But not too bad. It's only about 10 seconds it disables them for anyway, so you're not missing much. that then there was again not a lot to say on that mission to be honest um i could have told you a joke but then i'd be distracting you from the matter at hand really it's <laughs> so i and i couldn't do that to you i couldn't make you laugh while you're trying to kick ass and then if you die then it's my fault and i don't want that i do not want that <laughs> i don't want that anyway i don't know what the hell i'm on about now it's late and i'm starting to lose my head again so we're just going to um, move on again, upgrade sort of what you want. Um, again, the source of shield will be another one, as well as the Repulsotron. So if that's what you want to do, again, go for it. But the main thing we're going to be upgrading is the Disintegrator Ray, like I said. Zapomatic, Ion Detonator, and our shield. They'll be the main four that you need to focus on, really. Otherwise, again, you just crack on with the next objective. Unless, of course, you want to change your character skins. It's all up to you, Hans. But we're going for this island, Suburbia, next. To be fair, this was a very fun little mission. I did enjoy this very much, Lee. So, again, what we're going to be doing is hollow blobbing. And it's relatively easy for now. All we're doing is heading to the uh, marked targets right here. We're just uh, going to scan the scientist's brain. Feel free to have a look at this beautiful little town area. Again, watch out for the majestic agents. You can always see them in black suits. Um, get out of the ring and then scan somebody else. You can't actually scan anyone while you're inside that majestic circle. So again, be very aware of that. But for now, we're just scanning some big old brains. I was going to say big old booty brains, but 
that's just weird talking about a 80 year old scientist scan whomever comes out first hold it right there comrade I know I'm not supposed to eat from the diner, or I'll turn into a mindless paranoid drone, but that robot pie is calling my name. Heinrich! Liebchen! Heinrich! More non-threatening vehicles full of scientists yesterday. instead of ice cream? Is, Scan the great. scientists nice once they there. step yes. foot outside. Don't they live in their lab? It's true what they say. Ever since I was a small boy in Stuttgart, I dreamed of drugging the food supply of an entire population. Now, it's my job. <laughs> God, I love America. The psychotropic compounds in that shison turned our lab rats into a pack of... Oh, then, now we are on our way back to the saucer. Now, our first optional side objective will be coming up. Um, not uh, straight away, we've, we've basically just got to destroy the places where the scientists are hiding out first, which is always nice. Use the death ray or use psychokinesis to throw something at it. But, right after we do this, um, what we need to do is destroy army assets, but we've got to do that and be quick about it, because the scientists will actually be escaping in the ice cream van. You'll see a, a countdown timer basically on the left where the uh, main mission objectives are there so we, we do have to be quick so it's just highly advised to just follow me any army assets include obviously the army tanks the army jeeps um, any sam guns and turrets that are trying to shoot at you but there is like a little army base as well uh, which has full of stuff so again just follow exactly where i go and exactly what i do and to get that optional side objective and then we can go after the scientists again if you kill the scientists before then you'll actually miss out on the side objective and you have to do this mission again so to be very quick here operation is at risk destroy those vehicles before they leave the peninsula So that should be good. We're also going to be getting another achievement here. As soon as you see a little arrow coming towards you on screen, press the B button as the arrow goes white. That will deflect the arrow away right there. That will destroy it and that will get us another achievement again. Um, it might be kind of difficult to get the timing down potentially a little bit first. But again, this is an, that's another achievement you should get relatively easily throughout the game as there are a lot of sand turrets trying to destroy us because they are dicks. Hopefully you've got the uh, army asset side objective then before you uh, kill the scientists and they didn't bloody run away. But what we're going to be doing now we're going to be we're almost done with the mission what we have to do is just basically we need to get a majestic agent to come back to our source and follow us but of course we need to hollow blob our ass over to him and then they we basically just have to get him to follow us using the right d-pad button
You're blocking my shot. Get out of the way, citizen. So there is our fourth and final command then, and like I said a little bit earlier, pressing right on the d-pad will get the guy to follow us no matter what, and he cannot be stopped. But, for some reason, no goddamn douchebags want to be hollow blobbed. Come in, come in, serve me out. Uh, don't worry if they do catch you here, they'll literally, for some reason, they will forget that they ever seen an alien. They'll sort of, you know, do a Metal Gear Solid if you're a solid snake in a cardboard box thing, they'll just go, well, well, I forgot about that guy. There was a box moving, but now he's not moving, so screw this guy. So what we need to do is try in a hollow blob. Someone, anyone, you have to do it, otherwise, I mean, he's not going to follow you because you get shot at and dead. There we go, we finally got it as this, I don't know, kind of looks like a gay policeman, like we should be part of the YMCA or something. <laughs> But, of course, this is a Majestic Agent, so as soon as you jump down, press the right on the D-pad. And that will only get him to follow us, but the Majestic Circle disappears, and then the uh, our costume remains intact. But, of course, get out of there as quick as you can. And you can keep mind-reading him if your hollow blob disguise starts going down. So, happy days. Get back to your saucer. Mission ends. Watch the cutscene, because it is brilliantly hilarious as most of it is in this game and job is a bloody good one mate wonder what i'd look like in some other color i hear brown is the new black i like huffman but i'll kill him in a second if i get the order I love a man in uniform. Oh wait, I am a man in uniform. So, what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Right, so we're actually like, now getting to that point in the game where I don't need to talk every time a mission ends. I mean, you should be sort of used to how the game all works and everything right by now, including all the upgrades and everything. So, I don't need to yammer on about how you need to put an upgrade forever again. You should... You know, you should be good to go by now. I said what I said. Everyone's happy. So we are now on to mission eight. Teenage zombies from out of space. This one also is a short mission, but it does include our first having to defend something, which, to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of those missions, but it is what it is, and it's still a lot of fun, so you can a complain. So the first thing all we are doing then is... Simply reaching the drive-in, try not to be seen, I don't think it makes too much of a difference, but it's, all, you know, it's always easier. And then all we got to do is kill the guards that are guarding it. And what better way to kill guards than to shove an anal probe up them and get their brains rotting out of their skull. It definitely sounds worse than it looks in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, there's only three guards, you can see them both there, just 
be careful not to be seen again. You don't want to make your life any more difficult. So, both of our optional side objectives are coming up here now, and it is kill an agent with a cop, and kill a cop with an agent. So take your time, you've got two minutes in which to get this, uh, but basically just shock, you know, shock everyone until you get about halfway, then just pick up a cop, and then throw him at an agent. Try and get the health down to about a quarter way, so it'll definitely kill him. Um... But yeah, like I said, you will get a load of cops and a load of agents coming through. But of course, the main mission is to defend that uh, little video project of this. So don't get too uh, don't get too uh, distracted by doing this. Always make sure to be looking around and making sure that nobody's actually shooting at it. But again, don't rush about it. Just take your time. You will get this. If you do end up not getting it, like I said, you can actually restart the checkpoint or you can just let yourself die and you can try again. <laughs> and I tell you what, the noises they make when they get zapped is hilarious. Ah, it's, it's so funny. Seconds left. Drop me. Anybody ever tell you you look like a grave? Ten seconds. Commies make me sick. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun? Or your abilities? Mm? Welcome to mission nine then south by southwest and we've got an easy optional objective to begin with All we've got to do is destroy a car using a human so this one doesn't even have to be an enemy So just get a car down to its minimal sort of belowest lowest health Because uh, all, we, all we're basically doing at the beginning anyway is causing some destruction until the police arrive So yeah, all you got to do zap a car until it gets down to very Barely minimal health, pick up a human, throw it at the car until it explodes. Job is a good and sent. You know, as long as their human actually explodes the piss in thing. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, for now, just cause some destruction, destroy all humans. You know, it's it's basically what you're doing. You're not going for coffee. It's not destroy all coffee shops or you know. 
Now it's time. So this mission can actually take a little bit of time. It literally just depends on where the majestic agents show up on your map. Because obviously for the main objective, we need to be um, destroying twenty thousand dollars worth of majestic agents. So that includes cars and that includes humans. But make sure to kill the majestic agents with the new ion detonator. So pressing the left bumper will obviously get up your weapon wheel. And if you press and hold the left trigger button, that actually enables the ion detonator to go further. So the, the, longer you, the longer you hold the left trigger, the further the bomb goes. Press the right trigger to detonate it. Job is a good one. Um, so yeah, you should already have that pretty quickly. There'll be a ton of majestic agents to show up and mess us up anyway. But like I said, this can take... Could take up to five, maybe even ten minutes again, depending on where these goddamn majestic buttholes show up. And majestic buttholes aren't always necessarily a good thing. So with that finally bloody done, what we need to do now, go back to our saucer and what we're going to basically do is more or less destroy Santa Modesta, which is always handy. This is what we were put on this earth to do, screw up a whole bunch of America. 
which is always nice. But again, there is a third optional objective to get, and that is for destroying a building using a Majestic Agent. Now, you might think it could sound very difficult, like you have to sort of guess when the building's going to explode by using a death ray and doing it that way, but it's actually really, really easy. So, what we're going to do first is turn around, and you see those tiny little silver... Um, like silver... Just pick up a Majestic Agent there, and the silver little trailer, that's the word I was looking for, Pick up a Majestic Agent, throw him into that uh, silver trailer twice, and then that should actually destroy that building, enabling us to get the um, optional objective. Sorry, I'm, I'm completely losing my words, as per usual. I'm sure you're used to me by now. Um, but otherwise, what we're doing then is just destroying the marked buildings for now. Use the Sonic Boom. Obviously, it's just a lot quicker and easier than the Death Ray. If you are wanting to get more ammunition, if you do run out of ammo for your Sonic Boom, um, pick up any vehicle and then press the X button. That will actually get you ammo. Where the Y button gives you health, and the X button gives you ammo. So it's the best way to do that. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? So this is level 10, Foreign Correspondent, and like I said, I'm not going to be really talking through the upgrades anymore. Um, as I said, it's completely up to you, whatever you fancy doing. I have said which guns you should be um, putting your full efforts into, mainly again the uh, Disintegrator Ray, the Zapomatic, Ion Gun, the Repulsatron, and both shields, just in case you've forgotten. So anyway, follow this guy for now, and just keep scanning using, obviously, the Y button. You would have, um, <laughs> you should know that by now. But just keep scanning him. All we're going to be doing is trying to find out where this bird wither is. Bird wither spoons. <laughs> awful. Just awful joke. Oh, that wasn't even a joke. That was actually pathetic for me. My bad. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. The perimeter's pretty rough, actually. You can take a human form, can't you? You can get over there in disguise. Only one disguise will do, though. 
Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would, and I know it. If only I'd gotten the funny, but I didn't, thanks to Burt Wither. Bastard. Spacemen! Out of the way! Pygmies! They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. So, Mr. Crackpot then is taking us here. Go ahead and hide behind this rock for now. We're going to be needing to use the hollow blob disguise. So, hide behind the rock a little bit further so nobody can actually see you, which will always be handy. And then go ahead and hollow blob him because actually there is a chef on the right hand side that we need to get. Uh, we need to use the follow um, button on the D pad. Or you can just use the command prompt. And what he's going to do is actually lead us all the way down so obviously just make sure to keep mind scanning people on the way down so you know you don't lose your hollow blob disguise get shot and die which one do i live in again sure is weird burt wither all holed up in a damp cave there's got to be a funny story there So then, we are basically there, but be careful, stay more towards the right hand side, but don't go into the water, as the water can actually hurt you. They've got two EMP mines, uh, right here, which you can destroy, um, using the X button. Obviously, you know, make sure you still get your guy to keep following you. Come on, you dumbass. Stupid agents. Stop bitching, and move. Thanks, hon. We're good to go. So, yes. So, like I said, keep my scanning him so your blob disguise doesn't go because there's a few majestic agents here. Try and not get into the water because it can hurt you pretty badly. But there are two EMP mines, as I said, so you can destroy them. What it'll actually do, nobody will suspect it's you for some reason, but it'll actually create a bit of a distraction as well, which will help us. It can potentially get a little bit hectic right here. So just move past the Majestic Agents as quick as you can, explode the other EMP mine, and then just walk up then to the fence for a little cutscene. Yeah, this is Carmine. The so to actually get into the building with... Uh, out being detected what you have to do is use the distract button on one of the majestic agents right here so as soon as we do that he's going to start dancing or the police officer or whatever and always use the last army guy the last soldier the one behind always hollow blob him the other guy should be distracted so you shouldn't have an issue for there so as long as you Distract one of the majestic agents of the police officers. They will be fully focused on him Then of course make sure to hollow blob the last soldier and then it's simply a case of following this little beach Couldn't Burt Wither heat up his own gosh darn food? Where is the Salisbury steak for Mr. Wither? He's starving! Is it that hard to find him up the stairs on the second floor of the dock? Those paint swatches on the sub at the top of the stairs must be a joke. Unless they want a yellow submarine for target practice. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything you say. I swear. You bet your ass you will. Come on, birdie boy. I got a little job for Now all we've got to do is get out of here. Now, I mean, obviously what you could do is just hollow blob one of the soldiers and move out um, while Bert follows you. But of course we are going for the third and final optional objective, which is to kill soldiers with explosives. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to be fighting our way out for now. Um, don't worry about Bert. He cannot get hit no matter what you do. So apparently if you follow someone, they also get an air of invincibility about them, which is nice. Um, so you can use your ion detonator as well. That does count as well as explosive barrels. So we will use, we will kill a few soldiers, try and get a few together, um, obviously to help the optional objective go up a little bit quicker. 
Um, otherwise, what we're just doing at the moment is fighting our way out, like I said. So any explosive barrels you see, pick it up with your PK, your psychokinesis, and then just lock onto a soldier and then throw it at him. Easy peasy lemon cheesy. And uh, apologies about the little bit of edit there. I actually couldn't find my way out, even though it's the door right, literally, right at the other end of where I am right now. So, yeah, that was always good. Couldn't find my way out where there's a big open door right there. Die! Again, there's going to be a few explosive barrels in this room, so just be careful when you're aiming it at a soldier and make sure that it actually kills them. But don't worry if you don't get it here because there are plenty of explosive barrels outside and plenty of soldiers to kill. So it might even be quicker just to kill everyone off and move on. But, you know, if you want to get it ASAP, it's worth doing this. This is not standard operating So this is the sort of last area now, again, if you haven't got the killing soldiers with the explosives yet, again, there are plenty about, so just try to look for, obviously, the little red crates, the little red barrels, the ones that says explosion, explosions on them, of course, you can actually throw the soldiers into them as well, if that's easier, but obviously, make sure just to do that before you go into the blue beam to finish the mission. Step right up. Weapon. Suburb of the damned. And God damn, was this just a... The first, this will be, and is, the first pain in the ass mission. There's no doubt about it. So all we have to do for basically three waves is defend two towers. So for the first one, it's two and a half minutes. So immediately turn around, grab an explosive uh, barrel, make sure to get these group of soldiers on their own, and then just 
just kill him. Just kill him. That's what we're doing first. Killing soldiers using explosive barrels. There are plenty about. So just keep that going. And then obviously all you have to do then. There are two towers. The ones that are marked on your right hand side of the screen right now. And as soon as the health bar on the left hand side where it says the main mission. As soon as it starts going down. Pox will tell you that the tower has been attacked as well. So that's all we've got to do is just. Um, oh. Yeah we've got to defend them. And like I said earlier. I hate defending missions. I think they're just pointless and they're a bit of a pain in the ass. But there we go. But this first uh, optional side objective should be easy enough to get anyway. You're all a bunch of dickheads! And where the hell where the hell are they getting this many people to fight in the army from? Jesus Christ, how many have I killed so far? Up to what that is what is this? Mission eleven? How many have I bloody killed so far? Mate, I'll tell you what, this little town of America, this little part of America has got a lot of money to spend on militaries. Uh, military <laughs> things. So there we go, then that's the first part done. So the second part, we are going to get more rocket. Basically, it's the same sort of thing, but we're going to get more rocket launchers shoved in our ass this time. Or well, potentially in our ass, except it's not going anywhere. But we've got to defend now for three minutes. So this time, what you have to do, uh, we've obviously got tanks as well. So, you know, just, just be aware of those tanks. They can be a bit of a pain in the ass as well. But again, if you do get hit badly, just fly up to a rooftop and just hide for... 10 seconds but what we got to do then as soon as a soldier th um, goes to shoot a rocket launcher at us you can always tell again by the sort of white arrow on screen just make sure to pick it up with the PK and then throw it back at him it's definitely easier to lock onto him with the left trigger and then throw it because it'll aim directly at him rather than going anywhere so we've, we've only got to kill two soldiers with rockets within three minutes so it should be very manageable but oppress us. And the guys of national security from a communist threat or a conspiracy of silent abductions. One thing is certain. President Huffman. Even as I speak, our mighty military strives to stop this broadcast. Only to the brave efforts of my SMTBS. Staff, have they been held on this long? The truth is damning. And because it's finally out, the president, for the first time in our history, has marshaled American armed forces against the American people. We are no longer safe. Or are we? The shocking final answer. Next.
Okay, so we've done this bit. Now, the next bit is definitely the biggest pain in the ass. What we have to do is kill soldiers using grenades. Now, this is annoying because they can do it at any random point. But my advice is here. See these two mechs? Um, I on detonate them or get their health down to about halfway. Because they're going to shoot a shitload of grenades at us. So get the health down really low and then throw a grenade back at them. That will kill one. And now just be aware, I ha I've actually had to come back and do this mission again. So I am actually fully upgraded, which is you see, which is why you see my shield is a little bit bigger. Um, because I didn't do it the first time. But don't panic if you don't get it straight away. Just kill the mech. I was actually waiting for him to throw a couple of grenades, but he was being a douchebag and he wasn't doing it. And he, I, he actually, I just killed him with an explosive barrel instead. So just keep waiting, keep going, keep killing. You know, again, if your shield's are almost empty, just make sure to go onto a rooftop for a couple of seconds or just somewhere where the soldiers aren't. Um, but of course, you know, the mechs are not too bad. They are easy enough to kill, but all we're doing is waiting for a bloody grenade. Watch out for the tanks as well. And it is... I mean, when we get the grenades, it's bloody easy enough, but it's just knowing when those soldiers are going to actually throw them. So... so there was one, we just, we just missed it, so sort of stay, you know, if you stay far enough away, then obviously they're going to end up throwing a lot of grenades, but always worth weakening your enemies first and then throwing the grenade at them, that should do it fine, so hopefully that wasn't too bad and I sort of explained everything a bit better, you know, just stay, try and stay far away from the enemy, weaken them first, they'll throw a grenade, throw it back at him, job should be good. But again, don't matter if you don't get it the first time. Come back to it later, because I'm actually going to unlock the achievement later on. So there you go, you see it at 90%, it's just because I didn't do it uh, the very first one, but here is the achievement, obviously you will not be getting this until later, unless of course you don't get it now and you've got to come back with fully upgrades and you do it now, in which case you will get it now, otherwise you should actually be getting it later on, so just ignore that achievement for now, and then we can finally move on to mission 12, now the missions start getting a little bit nicer again from now on to be uh to be absolute fair i just do not like defending missions just i don't know why i just never liked them they've always been a pain in the booty hole but we are on to mission 12 whatever happened to crypto 136 we're all a band of brothers our cryptos or something or other now we should be able to discover what happened to crypto 136 my scans have identified So we'll just move forward for now. We are going to get an achievement right now, um, and it's the area of dissect, and that is just for entering area 42. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, crypto. My god. Um, so, so for some reason, the the guy, well, I don't know, he just seen his friend's head explode, but he didn't sort of run. He tried to shoot me one pathetic bullet. And so I hollow blobbed him instead. So that is the way to do that. And we're just going to go forward. And all we're going to be doing then is sort of having a look where Crypto went. And there's going to be beams of lights where his uh, part of Crypto 136's ship was. So that's all we're going to be doing is grabbing them. Uh, but we're also going to be doing a lot of distracting as well. So this bit's okay. But it is the Majestic Agents coming up that we need to distract. Everyone's going to take a look at him, and then we're going to grab the alien spaceship part. They shipped to their donkeys and dragged it back to their mud village so they can worship it as a god. My D.I. sure is a mean son of a gun. I want to be just like Sergeant York. Or Gomer Pyle! <laughs> oh. 
all of this, khaki that. What the hell's wrong with Fuchsia? And once we get up to this soldier, press X to talk to him, and then choose the third option, threaten to report him. Let me through, or I'm gonna report you for falling asleep on duty. Yes, sir! <laughs> for one, duty is always hilarious, of course. But just to see uh, Crypto's voice in a human there, that just seemed extremely weird. Um, so nobody, as long as you keep scanning mines at the minute, nobody's going to suspect a thing. So just go to all the marked targets, grab the rest of these spaceship parts for the moment. It's just nice and simple after defending those pissing ball sack of towers. Elvis, Melvis, I could do that. Uh huh. <laughs> this ain't like WW2. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. An army of one. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Armquist is my hero. Man, do I hate marching. These boots suck. have imprisoned Crypto One Piece. Find out if one of these military monkeys knows more. So, now we've got our first optional side objective. We've got our main objective as well, which is just for scanning mines at the military base, uh, base which is easily done, of course. But all we're going to do, we're going to be extracting human brains. Again, that is just literally looking at looking at literally anybody and then mashing the X button of course you should know by now that their brain will pop out and uh, that will count towards the optional objective but when you can you cannot really do this uh, very silently you can with this guy right here but with everyone else you can't so you're gonna be in for a bit of a fight you can kill people if you want but just try and either anal probe them um, that'll get the brain directly to you straight away, or just keep mashing the X button on a lot of people and then just run up and grab the brain. But of course, remember to make sure to get the optional side objective done before we reach the majestic base, which is just over the other side. You can just see it off in the distance, the uh, big old orange beam. But, but, but be prepared. But be prepared for a fight, doggy. That's what I was trying to say. Instead of. Being a ball sack and messing it up. Show me what you're doing. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to that. Right now, baby. Beg me to spare your life. Breathe. It's killing us. Let's get it on. You're going. Anybody down. ever tell you you look like a. Show me what you do. Drop your weapon. Breathe. You hey, little freak. Stop it. <laughs> You got that brain? Good. Go, 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 go! Go to the orange beamy place. 
kill anyone on the way, but go, 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 before you get your, well, I don't know how many buttholes and ball sacks aliens have, but I'm assuming it's plenty more than we've got, even though there's such a little cute, tiny little doggy dogs. And the entrance is actually just below us right here. We, we're going to get this um, little furon probe first, but the entrance is just below where this sort of little glass bit of thing is. Um, explode this, that'll get us in, and then we can use the cutscene. But be careful, those enemies will still be there when the cutscene's done. So as soon as this cutscene's over, skip it or whatever, turn around and get rid of the guys while you're destroying the rest of the equipment door. We're dead. An honorable death at the hands of an enemy in battle, that's one thing, boss, but they... They desecrated us. And they're gonna pay. Oh, yes, they're gonna pay. So I was really fighting with guys for no reason then, because the last bit of equipment is on the left hand side, which for some reason I kept missing. So here's optional side objective number two, and this is literally just for killing a bunch of humans, which you should know how to do by now, and if you don't, I'm sorry you're playing the wrong game, this isn't Hello Kitty, um, or Paw Patrol, even though we would make our life a lot easier. But all we're doing then, just kill the dicks off these things, until of course the um, bar fills up. Try and get out of the building as well. That that will just make your life a lot easier as you can <laughs> roam about a little bit more. So as soon as we've done our last one, now we can just go to the saucer, uh, back to our saucer. You can see where it is on the minimap, unless of course you fancy going on a little bit more of a killing spree if you really want. And if you want to extract some more brains, of course, that's completely up to you. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you turn around, you can see the saucer on your minimap. Head to there, end the mission. Be proud of what you achieved here today, people. Be proud! Or, again, something or other, you know, I, I don't bloody know. <laughs>
So what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Right then, so after you've fiddled with your upgrades, we're not going to continue with the next mission for a moment. We're going to be um, free roaming in Santa Modesta. We're going to be getting a few more achievements before we begin. So head to the beautiful beach paradise, which we've um, half basically destroyed. And then what we're going to be doing from here first then is heading to the beach. And where that is, is basically, more or less, directly in front of us from where we spawn. So clamber the rooftops, dash your way through to the beach, just where it says, but yeah, just we're on the sort of tin roof of the motel right here. And there's going to be a sign which says, do not feed the sharks. But of course, we're going to completely ignore that. There it is, don't feed the sharks. We're going to completely ignore that. Pick up a human, throw him into the sea, and it is literally as easy as that. And you can feed more if you want as well. I love that it was a rare achievement, uh, but <laughs> there we go. And and the uh, description for the achievement as well was just fantastic and very needlessly complicated. But from here then, climb onto the motel's tin roof again. And you can probably, if you jet pack up in the air, you can just see the church steeple in the very distance. That is where we're going to be heading next. So just um, take a right on this street right here. Um, if you want to make it easier, have a just keep jumping on the rooftops. And yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of people are seeing me, but they're not doing anything about it. Oh, never mind, they just shot me. Hey, screw off, man! That was my that was my last blood pack, man. I'm gonna die now. Except I'm not because I'm super Q. I'm Q crit you. And anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's just move on. You see Tasty Pete's? Tasty Pete's on the left, just next to the church steeple. All we're going to be doing then is jetpacking our way through the donut without touching the ground. Even though I just did. But the achievement will still unlock for us here anyway. So, that's perfect. So, that's another extremely two easy achievements which look extremely complicated thanks to the description. But it's actually not. But again, if you're feeling yourself a little bit lacking on the upgrades and the DNA needed to fully upgrade any of your weapons or saucer, again, you know, make sure to stay around, stick around. Get, you know, get a sort of 10, 20 minutes of getting brains. Obviously, that's completely up to you if you want it. But we are going to be just getting one more achievement. Again, it's, it's as easy as pissing your pants. Like, literally, you don't even have to do anything. I mean, you've got to do something. Whereas, pissing your pants, you literally don't have to do anything. But but anyway, let's just... We're ignoring that. We're going back to Turnip Seed Farm for the moment. So, head on back to the... Um, well, I don't want to say it, but the really backwards part of this game. <laughs> and then, just jump straight back in your saucer, holding the X button. Press RB on a cow. And the... We get the as is tradition achievement. So that is why it is as simple as pissing yourself. You've got to do a little bit more work, that's it. Although I suppose then again, you've got to drink quite a bit of water to piss yourself or... Anyway, we're done. <laughs> we are now done. I'm going to stop yammering eventually, but we are now moving on with the missions. Level 13, the Mutant Menace. Oh my days. 
Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? Mm. The data tape you retrieved from the human research lab has revealed they've successfully unlocked the psychic So immediately we've got our first optional objective and that is for reaching the lab undetected. It really basically does what it says in the tin. So holoblob this guy who's not even looking at you. Of course this is going to be a little bit more difficult but try and stay outside the majestic circle and sort of scan them from a distance as to not destroy your hollow hollow blob. I wonder who came up with that. <laughs> Hollow blob. I just... I like things that sound funny. Yes, I'm very easily pleased. I am a child in my mind still. Um, yes, so keep mind scanning. Try to avoid the majestic circles if you can. The lab is the exact same part where we were earlier in the previous mission. So again, mind scan him. Now, we need to get through the door just up on the top of the stairs there, but there will be a majestic agent. For me, he, for some reason, he was the other side of the window on the rooftop. But um, for you, he should actually be walking through the door. So just be very, very careful with that. So what if it does happen to you, just mind scan the scientist and then just um, nip on by. I don't know why. <laughs> what an idiot. You can't get a tan in a black suit. Or can you? Interesting. Make science happen, boys and girls. But we're catching the elevator up now. So we've got a few new things to watch out for in this uh, part of the lab. So there are things called mutants, which basically look like just aliens in suits. And they actually throw these bombs at you. Um, but before we do that, make sure to, to explode every piece of equipment that is in the building. Um, that basically signifies you are trashing the lab then. So these little bits of equipment right here, these computery little pieces of poop, make sure to explode all them before we leave. Um, but yes, these mutants will actually throw, like, these sort of pulse grenades at you. Um, and they will explode on the floor. So as soon as you see one that is on the floor, just make sure to jump up and jetpack to avoid it. So you see it right there. I actually don't. It can damage you quite a little bit. So you see it right there. There's the pulse grenade. Make sure every time you see it on the floor, just jump up. And that will avoid some damage. Otherwise, just kill, kill, kill a little. And once we're done with that, then all we've got to do now is disable the Tesla coils. Now, what you can do is holler blob your way there and sort of go sneaky about it. But honestly, it's probably just quicker to just get shot at, to be honest. So we'll go over there, disable them uh, using the X button. With um, we're just we're just hacking it, destroying it, literally. 
So let people shoot at you, it's just going to be a whole lot quicker. And watch out for the cows as well, they explode, as we know. And explosions hurt, especially the one in your pants. That diarrhea explosion! <laughs> Funny! Happy days then, so as soon as that's done, don't even bother fighting everyone, just let them waste their ammo. Haha, -ha, they've got to spend money on ammo now trying to shoot an alien that they can't kill. Go behind the wall for a nice easy dash up to the exit, but be aware, get your eye on detonator ready, as there are about four or five soldiers looking at your saucer. I mean, it's a pretty stupid place to park it, there they are. Get your eye on out, bam them all. Enter your saucer, happy days. It is a bit of a stupid place to park your, um, park your saucer, mind. But then again, you know, I suppose you don't want to really walk far. You've only got little legs, haven't you, actually? So, <laughs> all we're doing then is destroying stuff with the sonic boom to get the next optional objective up. Um, so, again, it might be worth my tactic, to be honest, is using the death ray first um, to sort of weaken the buildings a bit and then just use the sonic boom only because we don't really have that much ammo even though like i said if you want more ammo pick up a vehicle and mash the x button that way you will get more uh, bang for your buck more ammo but if you just rather do it my way weaken it like i said with death ray first and then use the sonic boom Step right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades. So yeah, I am kind of in and out. We are just going straight in with the wrong stuff for the next mission choice, of course, unless there's anything you want to upgrade. But like I said, I'm kind of in and out with the commentary on this one. You know, only because this is a good game and I don't really want to keep ruining the atmosphere like I'm currently doing right now by talking. Um, you know, it's a fantastic game and it's there's loads of humour in it, so the last thing you want is for me to keep yammering on and 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 on etc etc if you get me, so <laughs> sorry, but that's why I'm in and out. So with this one what we're doing then, the wrong stuff, just head down and once again what we're doing, there's a lot of stealth missions in this one as well, so hollow blob this guy's ass off into your ass, in a non-homo way of course. This is just asking for it. Human warfare is astonishingly primitive, which is exactly what worries me. They're just advanced enough to blow themselves up at any moment, and if they do, our chance of reclaiming our genetic future goes up in a mushroom cloud. That would suck. 
Okay, I'll go scout the base and scan a few monkey brains. So we can't actually get in this way, so mind scan him for your hollow blob to carry on, and then we'll just go right around the fence. There will be an opening there, and then we've got three optional side objectives to do, all very easy. So don't stress yourself. Don't poop your pants and don't stress yourself. Two of the best bits of advice that I can give you. Major Ford always randomly selects. So when you scan three major generals' heads, so the first one then is you see this building right in front of us here. It's, it's just between the alleyway, right there. The guy on the right, so scan him first. Normally, after Crypto and Pox stop talking, um, the, the generals will have markers on the top of their heads, so you know sort of who they are. Um, go back to the place where you sort of just came, but. Start ducking more towards the right. He's at the sort of right side of this building. There he goes. He's just standing by himself. And then sort of go to the right past this truck, past this building. And we're going to head down the road. And the jet next general will be sort of tucked away. Tucked away somewhere, but easily found. Nemesis Armquist is coming to town. This could be an opportunity for us to remove him from the picture once and for all. Sergeant Smith's getting reamed behind the wall <laughs> again. That dinner party. I have an office in the main building right next to Higgs's. If only Dottie hadn't burned on Quist's roast. So this again is kind of, they're all sort of just easy parts of the mission. They are lovely. So we're going to reach the rooftop undetected now. It's literally, as you see right in front of us, basically where we entered. So obviously to do that, all you've got to do is just keep scanning, keep your hollow blob disguise up, and there'll be a bunch of crates for us to climb up. Um, try and... You've actually got to get on this little first aid box to get up as well. Otherwise, for some reason, Crypto cannot use his goddamn hands. Although I suppose if you're inside another person, you can't really use their hands either, unless it's like a, unless it's like a puppet or something. I don't know. Do people have sex with puppets? I, anyway, we're, we're moving off track. Naughty, naughty conversation. That's disgusting. <laughs> but you should have reached the rooftop undetected anyway. Isn't ready yet. The X-13 was working just fine in the trials last week. Crypto? And now we need to scan General Higgs. That's what I just assume his voice was like, to be honest. But he's directly in front of us, so scan him. And now we've got our three optional side objectives. And we've got to kill scientists in different ways. So we're going to head to the first one, which is directly in front of us. Just a little bit further up from where we scanned the first general. And they are extremely easy enough. We don't have to do anything um, too difficult or too challenging. Again, keep scanning mines, keep scanning mines. Uh, try not to get run over. Good driving. Thanks for not killing me, pal. <laughs> so all we need to do then is just get the scientists to follow us. Of course, using the right, uh, the right D-pad. And he'll start following us, and it gets exploded by a mine, which is just unfortunate. And then the guy's like, why the hell did he just do that? Bruh, you off your head, man. You're off your head. And just keep, um, move on to the next beam, where we will find the next scientist. If only there was some way to electronically facilitate the private viewing of illicit photography, like some sort of computing device with a screen. Uh, it'll never happen. Cheeky little bastards having a barbecue without me. I'm crypto, I need all the barbecues. But, since we're not invited, we're going to use the gas canister to explode it right next to him. Oh, man, that's a shame. All... <laughs> Fire up the Barbie! Top act, uh, yeah, well done, Pox. Well done. That was a top accent there. You fool. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you get for not inviting us to a barbecue. 
And for any of my friends who ever watch this, that's what you'll get if you don't invite me to a barbecue. Menacing voice. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't explode any of my friends or family. I'm not a psycho, okay? Again, we're moving off track. So let's go to the final beam. <laughs> now... You've got to be quite careful with the timing-ish. We're going to drop a crate onto the scientist now. Using this, wait until the scientist gets under the crate. I missed him, but for some reason... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what happened. But he walked into the crate and died anyway. And that seemed to work. Of course, I don't know if it was just a glitch or anything. So, you know, try and wait until he starts walking towards the left where you can safely say the crate will drop on him. But that was the greatest death I've ever seen in any video game ever. He walked into a crate. What a douchebag. March here, march there, march it yourself, jerk off. You're dead, little man! The brass always draw in the enemy, shops. make some noise. Asses. When they get close, Destroy and a nice simple one to finish off, just destroy military assets. So there'll be a couple of trucks, a couple of jeeps around. Um, kill all the soldiers that you can as well, it doesn't take too long. Just try not to die. You know, always helps that in video games. So, what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Now, I actually get an achievement for um, basically fully upgrading something. Um, it might be worth doing the Hollow Blob once, but I mean, it's cheap enough. 750, to be honest, or just over a thousand isn't too bad. Um, you will get this achievement basically at some point during the game anyway, so it's nothing that you're going to miss out on. 
but of course it's up to you if you think that it's actually worth doing for now, or if you think that it's worth, um, like I said, upgrading your shield or your gun. Definitely your preference, but I'm just saying that is where I get that particular achievement. General Armquist, good of you to come. Thought you might be too busy running damage control out in California. Never too busy to watch the Air Force fall flat on its face, Jack. Well, um... Let me just load up... So this is Mission 15. This is the last one of the first video. Missions 16 to 23 we will be completing and smashing out in the second video, in the second part. So again, we're going to holler blob our way. And basically, what we've got to do is get a driver to follow us. And what he's going to do is drive an atomic bomb over to the base. But with that, there is there are three optional objectives that we need to do. And there will be a lot of army guys that are going to try and shoot it. So, honestly, my best advice that I can give you... If you lose more than half of your health um, on the first part where we get attacked by soldiers, it's honestly worth restarting the mission because even if you get to the second point and you die, you you will re you'll basically stay and remain at that same little amount of health. So if you lose over half of your health and you get to the second section and die, your well the truck's health sorry the truck's health won't regain it will stay that same one i made the big mistake but i'm telling you nice and early if you lose over half of your health as i said um on the first part of this it's honestly just worth restarting it because it can be a bit of a pain in the ass um and purely just for the amount of guys, because it's not only the guys shooting at the truck that can damage it as well, it's the things on the floor, so there'll be like little electric mines, rocks, etc, explosive cows, so you've got to be very careful on this mission, it took me quite a while. Yeah, so already then, as you see, I just very stupidly exploded that um, bit of explosion, and it took off a quarter of the truck's health. Um, but what we need to do then, first of all, use explosive cows to um, kill soldiers, but make sure to get in the truck's way. The truck's the truck will actually run over the explosive cow, again, damaging it. So be very, very careful. But be always on the lookout for soldiers. Have a look at your mini-map to see where the red dots are coming from and coming through. It's really the soldiers are not actually that bad. It's the it's the environment which can damage the truck more than anything. So it so that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So So yeah. Sorry, I said the first bit. So if you lose over half of your health now, coming up to this second bit, it's definitely probably worth restarting. But, of course, if you can follow the video and do what I do, you can potentially get away with it easily. So just kill all these explosive cows here. We don't actually need to do anything with these now except kill them in case they get into the truck's um, death vision. Now for this next bit, we need to kill the soldiers with rocks, which is... Again, easy enough, but we need to be keeping our eye out on the minimap to find out where all the soldiers are. So, of course, just try and get this, uh, get these optional side objectives done as soon as possible. It may take a little while, but as soon as we're done, and somehow a big boulder smashes on the guy's head and he doesn't die. Yeah, all right then. So, of course, like I said, it's the rocks that can't hurt the truck, but... It is the soldiers, so as soon as you've done these side objectives, just keep constantly being on the lookout for soldiers. Look at them all, dickheads. And you see, 
already then, like I said, I've only literally got a quarter of a health bar left, and that's because I wasn't really paying attention and looking where I was going, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, and I wasn't, I was concentrating on something else rather than concentrating on the soldiers, so make sure to be concentrating on the soldiers as soon as you have done your optional side objective. There is one here as well, so make sure to throw him away. Um, I can't even tell you the amount of times I died here simply because I had a quarter of a health bar. It was goddamn annoying. But this is very, very important as well. <laughs> as soon as we get rid of the other bloody rocks. Come on, kid. You can drive around that. You're in the army. You drive your truck in the army, for God's sake. You can probably get around that. So anyway, this next bit then. Basically, do it in the same order that I did. Otherwise, the truck will just run over the electric landmines right here and obviously kill itself off. So what we need to do then, just explode the first couple right there, then pick one up, and there will be some soldiers on the right. So destroy him first. There will be a guy that throws rocket launchers at you, but just make sure to pick up the mines and kill the soldiers with them first. That will be all good. Then destroy the rest of the explosive mines, and then... Of course, destroyed the guy with the rocket launcher, but there will be another bunch of guys that will come out here as well. So this is very important as well. Definitely worth eye on detonating these, or just uh, using your disintegrator ray to let the truck get past. Again, if you've got that much health, like you said, as you can see, I've got a tiny little bit left now, which is a pain in the ass, quite frankly. Uh, but you do get a save checkpoint right here. You get a checkpoint even if you die for each section. But again, it is just slightly annoying. But what happens here is I think the soldiers try and just kill all the soldiers. But I think, for me anyway, they were more focused on me rather than focused on the truck. But of course, try and kill them. Just If, if you're sort of struggling, I detonate them away from the truck. Or just psychokinesis them away. Throw them away. And again, if you do see any that are aiming the gun towards the truck, just kill them as quickly as you can. Otherwise, this bit isn't too bad. But yeah, so again, hopefully that <laughs> I explain that not too shabbily. Um, can be a bit of a pain in the ass if the truck is on low health. So just keep your eye out, keep your eye peeled, and hopefully... You'll have a better time of it than I did. And then, if all that wasn't goddamn fun enough, now you've actually got to defend the thing that was getting destroyed in the first place. Which, you know, I mean, couldn't I just shoot at it and then it would be destroyed? But no, apparently not. Apparently you've got to wait for it to defuse. Every time you see those three scientists running towards it, honestly, for me, I just found it easier to psychokinesis them away, throw them away, and they'll die. Pox again will always tell you when the truck is being played with, so just go over there and just smash them out. Otherwise, for the missional, uh, optional side objective, of course, what we're going to do is wait until a rocket launcher is coming my coming our way, and then just throw it, just like you did in Mission 11, so as soon as a rocket comes our way, psychokinesis it back at him or any other enemy, but you've got to do this three times, but again, like I said, you've got three minutes to sort of wait and chill out, so... You should be good. Otherwise, it's not—it's it's fairly easy anyway. This bit—it's not too bad. But again, if you do, like I said, like I said in other missions, if you do get overrun or anything, just um, go behind some boxes or climb up to the roof, jet back up to the roof, and get your health back. Please, my ah. You made it! Half 
halfway. The humans are disarming the bomb! So with 45 seconds to go, get your ass back to the saucer. Screw these guys now. We need to get rid. We need to get out of the blast area. So back to the saucer with you, Crypto. Thirty seconds left. Oh, that blast is a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Not that blast, but this blast. <sighs> bit unfortunate, isn't it? That is not going to sit well with General, with the Generals, and especially General Armquist. But anyway, that is that for the first part of Destroy All Humans, the 100% achievement and trophy guide for Destroy All Humans. So I do hope you've enjoyed the game and the guide so far. It has been a lot of fun, hasn't it? You know it always is with me, honey. But anyway, so you should have got that now, 100%. Thank you again so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Again, big thanks to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon. But I shall see you, guys and gals, you beautiful bunch of bastards, in video two. Big love. Thank you.